Hello, this is Eric Smith with TaxCoplex, makers of Anvil. Today's tutorial will be looking at setting up your Snort database and any Snort or Suricata sensors. We'll be doing it from our public demo, found at demo.anvil.com. Log in with the username root and the password demo. Now when we first log in, the screen you'll see is the screen you'll actually see on your own console when you first install it, uh, that there aren't any active sensors or any traffic. So we'll first click on console configuration, the cure icon down here. And we'll first need to go to the Snort module, Settings. You'll need to enable the database and then enter your database credentials, uh, the, I mean the name and its path. Now if Snort is on the same box as Anvil, um, just try typing localhost. And if that doesn't work, just switch to 127.0.0.1. Okay? And I'll show you in a moment here how we can tell if it works or not. So once it's enabled, information is entered, click Update. We'll then go back to configuration and you'll know if it worked when we go to sensor configuration and you'll see available sensors uh, connected to that database. And again, these might be Snort or Suricata depending on which IDS engine you chose. I'm going to click our active Snort sensor. This is the one we've been using. First, you're going to want to enable it. Enter its name, operating system, description as to its function. Uh, now, you'll also want to enter its location and this will be helpful for uh, using the geolocation feature later. Now, when you obtain this latitude and longitude, uh, when searching for it, you might receive a couple different values. You'll want to get the decimal latitude and longitude values. Enter its time zone, um, and then click Update. Now that it's active, we now have our user permissions. Uh, we have two different accounts here. Now, the nice thing about Anvil is that you can choose who views events from any sensors. Um, so you can actually assign half your sensors to one half of the team, the other half to the other half. Okay. Um, if you want them to see it, just simply click the box. You don't need to click update, it automatically updates it. So just for fun, I'm going to select our two user accounts here. Go back to configuration. Now, another nice thing about Anvil SAS is that the console itself is going to act as a sensor. And the way that works, we're going to go to console sensor configuration. This is one that's already turned on by default. But the kinds of events that this will record will be successful or failed attempt uh, logins to the console. And also when you enable uh, network scanning, uh, when you have Nmap downloaded and the, uh, the correct path listed to Anvil, uh, when it does scan your network chosen at your interval, um, you'll also receive events notifying you that there are one or more uh, new, co new computers or hosts uh, connected to the network. Okay? So for our Anvil console, I'm going to do the same thing and select uh, user permissions for our two accounts. And in addition to that, when you first set this up, yes, you'll want to enter its location, uh, time zone, and click update. We're going to go back to the home screen, and there we go. We have our two active sensors. We see traffic coming in. Now, keep in mind, I mean, the uh, traffic we're seeing is just from the Anvil console. Uh, the Snort sensor that I activated, um, again, where this is a, just kind of a public online demo, we don't have live traffic being fed to it. Uh, so that's why we're not seeing any Snort events here. But this is where you would see them on your end once you've had those active snort sensors. But that's going to be how you activate the database and any snort sensors that you have or plan to add, which you can easily add in the future uh, with our Anvil SAS licenses because they are all unlimited sensor capacity licenses. Uh, but any further questions, definitely direct them to either sales.group at anvil.com or even support.group at anvil.com. Look out for more tutorials, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.